Today with Protein, we are going to learn the most effective motion for cleaning hallways and classrooms using a Protein Backpack Vacuum in process cleaning. First, connect the power supply cord to the extension cord in a manner that minimizes wear on the cord, but also allows for safe operation. Thread the extension cord up through the loop system on the cord holder on the waist belt. If you do not have a cord holder, place extension cord under the waist belt prior to attaching to the power cord. Plug the extension cord into the power cord. Do not tie the extension cord and power cord together. Doing so will result in damage to both cords and will not be covered under warranty. Begin with the wand parallel to your body with one hand placed on the area of the wand closest to the hose. Place the other hand in a comfortable distance beyond the bend of the wand. Draw the top of the wand toward your waist. When vacuuming a hallway, take note where you plug in the extension cord. Starting at this point, vacuum down the wall leading away from the outlet while keeping your back as straight as possible and your weight centered over your hips. Twist at your waist using a side-to-side -side motion. This motion is similar to mopping and prevents your upper body and arms from tiring. The floor tool should also be held with a slight angle to allow airflow to pass. If the hallway is less than 10 feet wide, clean from the center of the floor to the wall closest to you. If it is wider than 10 feet, take approximately a 4 foot stroke and repeat the loop pattern. On your last pass, you should find yourself heading back to your original starting point. When you get to your starting point, step over to the side of the wall that your extension cord is plugged into and vacuum down the hall until you reach the opposite end. Turn around and vacuum back towards your plugged in cord. You should then find yourself on the side of the wall opposite the plug in. This is the figure 8 vacuuming pattern and will prevent your cord from getting in your way. When vacuuming between rows of desks, split the rows in half. If you are left handed, vacuum under the desk to your right, away from your starting point. Right handed individuals will vacuum under the row to their left. When you get to the end of the row, turn around and vacuum back toward your starting point, vacuuming under the desks on the opposite side of the row. Repeat this loop pattern up and down each row, finishing at the opposite side of the room. To conveniently unplug and transport your cord, start by marking the center of your 50 foot extension cord. With the cord closest to the vacuum resting in the palm of your hand, unplug the other end of the cord from the electrical outlet and place it in your hand. Then pick up the cord by the center mark. This divides the cord into equal parts and makes transportation from room to room manageable. Be sure to protect your cord and keep it from snagging on obstacles. If you are right-handed, have the cord looped on your belt on your right-hand side. Before you make a turn, always take hold of your cord and pull enough cord length to get you to the end of the vacuuming pass. This will prevent it from getting snagged or damaged. Some ergonomic tips to remember. Keep the weight of the vacuum evenly distributed on your hips and keep the padded waist belt or waist and shoulder straps properly adjusted. A conveniently located on and off switch is placed on the waist belt for easy access. Use the proper attachment for each task. Protein has attachments to perform most jobs without requiring the operator to bend into difficult positions.